Welcome back to the channel. Let's begin with states of matter. Liquid, part 1. The learning outcomes for today includes relate the properties of liquid to intermolecular forces, molecular arrangement and molecular motion, as well as explain based on kinetic molecular theory two processes, vaporization and condensation of liquid. Properties of liquid Volume and shape Compressibility Viscosity Surface tension And finally, diffusion First up, volume and shape Liquid has a definite volume but not a definite shape. Particles are closely packed together. The intermolecular forces are not strong enough to hold the particles firmly in place. Thus, a liquid flows to fit the shape of its container. Next, compressibility. Since the particles are closely packed together, they have very little empty space. Thus, liquids are difficult to compress than gases. Next, viscosity. Viscosity is a measure of resistance of liquid to flow. The greater a liquid's viscosity, the more slowly it flows. Let's look at an example. As we all know, oil is more viscous than water. Thus, when you place a marble in oil, it falls down slowly compared to in water. Next, when temperature increases, viscosity decreases. Thus, it's easier to flow. Let's look at another example. Maybe you can guess this right. When you place a marble at 30 degrees Celsius oil, it falls down slowly compared to a marble in 100 degrees Celsius oil. Viscosity also depends on size of liquid molecules and intermolecular forces. As the size of the molecules increase, Higher is the resistance to flow, thus the liquid is said to be more viscous. If the intermolecular attractive forces is stronger, the liquid is also said to be more viscous. Surface tension is caused by intermolecular forces acting within the liquid molecules. As we can see, the molecules at the surface are pulled downwards and sideways by neighbouring molecules, but not upwards. Thus, the pulling of the surface molecules into the liquid causes the surface to tighten. The surface tightens up like an elastic film. Thus, as you can see, the grasshopper is able to glide over water. Finally, diffusion. Diffusion of liquid occurs when a molecule breaks free from the network of molecules that surrounds it and moves to another region of the liquid. Although the liquid molecules are in rapid motion, but they are not able to move freely from one part to another part of the liquid. The intermolecular attractive forces binds them into a loose network with their neighbouring molecules and restrict their movement. Thus, the diffusion rate of liquids is lower than gases. Condensation and vaporization. Condensation. The process in which a gas vapor is transformed into liquid. When temperature decreases, the kinetic energy of molecules also decreases. Thus, the molecules get closer and cannot overcome the intermolecular forces. More vapor molecules may strike the surface of the liquid and be captured there. Vaporization The process in which liquid is transformed into gas through the surface. As temperature increases, the kinetic energy of molecules increase. Thus, their molecular motion also increases. Eventually, the molecules at the surface possess enough kinetic energy to overcome the forces of attraction with their neighbouring molecules 
and be evaporated off into gas. Let's look into the factors affecting vaporization. Surface area, temperature and intermolecular forces. The larger the surface area, the higher the chances for the molecules to escape from the surface. Thus, the rate of vaporization is higher. As for temperature, at higher temperature, the kinetic energy of molecules increases. Molecules have enough energy to overcome the intermolecular attractive forces and escape as vapor from the liquid surface. Thus, the rate of vaporization is higher. Liquid with stronger intermolecular attractive forces, or in other words, less volatile liquids, require more energy to overcome the intermolecular attractive forces between liquid molecules. Thus, the rate of vaporization is now lower. Thank you.